Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to 3D model and 3D print a magnetic holder for your plants to replace those suction cups that keep on falling off of glass. As always, we're going to start off in Fusion 360. We're going to start off by creating a new sketch and drawing out the diameter of the magnet. Now keep in mind you need to give a little bit of clearance. My specific ones, I gave them a 0.1 millimeter clearance. From there, we're going to offset the original circle by the desired thickness of your walls. I find that for it to be strong, it needs to be a minimum of two millimeters. Now it's time to extrude. I'm using two one inch by one eighth of an inch rare earth magnets on each side of the holders. So what I needed to do was extrude it by 6.5 millimeters to allow enough clearance for the adhesive to hold them in place as well as enough space for the actual magnets. Now just save your piece and you're halfway there. Now let's start with the inside of the cage. This particular one is going to have the exact same measurements, the same extrusions and everything as the one on the outside. However, we're going to be adding a section that actually holds your plants in place. Once you have your magnet cup ready, it's time to put the actual holder. What I like to do is create a diameter that is 10 millimeters by, and then extrude it by 15 millimeters. This allows enough space so that you can put any plant in it without worrying if it's not gonna be big enough or strong enough, specifically because if you have a diameter that's less than 10 millimeters, it may or may not snap on you. This has been relatively simple, but now you need to select the center plane when creating your new sketch and draw out your circle. Once you've done so, you need to extrude it, but by both sides. This will then cut out the actual tube where you can thread your plants into. One final step we're going to do for both pieces is fillet all of the sharp edges. This just makes it easier to 3D print and 90 degree angles as said in previous videos are weak so it actually adds a little bit of strength to your model. Now that your models are complete, it's time to export them as STLs and import them into your selected slicing software. My slicer of choice is Simplify 3D. However, there are many options out there which are free of charge, including Cura and Slicer. Once you've imported your models, you're going to need to center and arrange them. If you see how the outside cup has been imported, you need to flip it 180 degrees so that the flat surface is facing down. However, with the inside piece, that is not possible. So what we're going to need to do is generate supports for this particular model. Some had asked what my print settings were. I'm using a 0.5 millimeter nozzle and I'm using 0.2 millimeter layer heights and a 25% infill. This allows for the part to have some strength without wasting too much plastic.
And that's it for this aspect. Now just prepare to print and export your G-code and send it to your printer. Now that your print is completed, what you're going to need to do is remove the supports from the inside magnet holder. From there, all you need to do is use a two-part epoxy to glue the magnets in place, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. You can find the link to this design in the description of this video. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like down below and comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks!